how are the developments within our region? You have got an ideology, a mindset, a belief that we have got a belief system, we have got a faith system. Those who do not believe in it are the enemies, are the kafirs. If they do not convert, they have got to be killed. This is a belief system of the jihadis. We must say it's a bad or good, that doesn't matter. I give you, now there's no point in, in this thing that if had he known that he was my cousin brother ten generations back, or he was my brother ten generations back, he will give up this ideology. He will not. I will give you an example. You must be knowing that in the Al-Qaeda hierarchy, the number three man is one Adam Gadhana. He is a white US man, he is also in charge of their publicity and also part of their operations now. Now Adam Gadhanan is a white who comes from a very orthodox Roman Catholic family who converted to Islam at the age of 23-24. And his third or fourth appearance, public appearance, he gave a, he was questioned and he gave a statement, which is extremely important. Actually, if you, most of people these days are this thing about the internet, please go through that. The revelations of Adam Gadhanan, who is the Al-Qaeda publicity chief. He says that day I converted into Islam. My father was my enemy if he did not follow Islam. My brothers were my enemy, my parents were my enemy, there's no one. Unless they come to the path of Allah. He may be right. I have no objection to that. But then, I have got an objection when he denies me the right to live and have my own faith. And if I have to have my own faith, it can be either on the terms that I have to fight and win, or it has got to be that I succumb and give up. You cannot have universal brotherhood by appeasement. You cannot have universal brotherhood through a position of weakness. If it was possible, India would have been weak. If India stopped preaching the, this thing of universal power, we would have done it too long, for too many centuries. And if we had been strong enough, probably there would have been a much greater peace. We provoked our enemies. If we had kept our defenses, if we had kept our society, if we had kept our nation, a strong citadel and made it a powerful fort, we are the first in, this, in the thing of the growth of civilization. Probably we would have done, we would have been responsible for less of bloodshed. It is not only the invaders who were responsible. We were responsible equally for that. Because we appeared to be more softer and, uh, and a more tempting target than they are going towards west or going towards east or south or something like that. They all wanted to come to east. Weakness is the biggest provocation for violence. You will be, violence will be used because you are weak because you're incompetent, because you lack the strength. Universal brotherhood will be butchered because you are weak. Universal brother will not be able to stay. Dharma will be conquered because you are weak, unless it is this thing by Shakti. So that, I think, is something that we have got to understand.